of the people 203 value of quorums Texas example the phrases our democracy and Western democracy try so hard to sound inclusive inclusion is not demonstrated just because a system of voting exists inclusion is demonstrated by the actual number of people who register and vote if 90 percent of the people vote in an instance it might be observed that would satisfy any quorum regardless of what the outcomes may be how only however if only 10 percent of the people vote that could hardly be said to meet any prudent quorum and would reveal just how unsubstantial the phrases our democracy and western democracy can be there is a use case example occurring in texas during years texas constitutional amendments are submitted to the public which is disturbing and bears spotlighting to demonstrate what good government should be table of historical texas constitutional amendment votes 1993 to 2019 um, on even number years is when they elect the government and other officials and then on the odd number years every two years um, the texas uh, congress will submit texas constitutional amendments to the people to vote so in these years as you can see how many are proposed how many are passed and the overwhelming success percentage of voters registered and in the percentage to percentage of turnout to register how many voted and in how many a voting age population just because they're in the voting age population don't mean they registered but if they registered and then they voted so here um, in the uh, pink or the red there um, is highlighted where it was very low like under six percent and then the ones in green is where it got over fifteen percent and here's just a little uh, synopsis years with over 15 percent if there was a 15 percent quorum there was only two years where they managed to get above 15 percent 2005 and 1993 and there's the URLs where that information can be found if you bring this up in conversation people will commonly say well it was an off year serious government has off years that is news compared with the saying nature abhors a vacuum exactly what does an off year mean how often do you hear the irritating phrases of our democracy and western democracy as also having off years on a superficial level as a proponent of small government those low, to, low voter turnouts are encouraging in as much they mean people are choosing to exercise their freedom and liberty and do other things that make government the prevailing thing in their lives besides the obvious observation that a quorum would protect texans is only a low number if only a low number of people voted i suspect there are more dire reasons for the low voter turnout texas politicians know the dismal voter partition Texas politicians know the dismal voter participation on these off years. However, there is another statistic that stands out, and that is the success rate. In the past 30 years, 164 of 181 proposed Texas constitutional amendments have passed for a success rate of 91%. What politician would not like those prospects? It is interesting to note the success rate dropped to 84% when only the two years over 18 percent registered voters participating are counted so if this is a legitimate concern how can this be remedied by implementing a quorum requirement for instance if a 15 percent quorum of registered voters was instituted on texas constitutional amendments elections then 143 of the 164 that passed over the past 30 years would have been voided and a 15% quorum is a dismally low requirement. A 25% quorum, a 25% quorum requirement of registered voters would have voided all 181 Texas constitutional amendments from 1993 to 2019. 
The Communist Party ruled the USSR with only an approximate 5% membership of the total population. Looking at the years 2001 and 2017 in Texas, the percent of registered voters participating was close to 5%. And when considering the percent of voters compared with the voting age public, that is even worse, reaching a nadir of 3.77% in 2011. And it gets worse. In 2011, the percentage of registered voters participating was 5.37%, and proposed Texas Constitutional Amendment number 2 passed with 51.3% of the vote. That means only 2.77% of registered voters approved of the Texas Constitutional Amendment. Ye gads, is 2.77% to be construed as our democracy or Western democracy? I can think of a lot of words to describe that situation, none of them good. And democracy or democratic principles are not amongst them. And now, another disturbing observation. What does this example reveal about the implementation of democratic principles? That the majority of people are more inclined to make the effort to vote for a candidate person than they are to make the effort to vote for an amendment bill or referendum. That is not a good thing. Harking back to the distinction between the rule of man and the rule of law, if we did have an our democracy or a western democracy then the rule of law and increased voter participation for texas constitutional amendments should be observed but if the overriding reason people are drawn to the polls is to vote for a candidate person then that is more like the rule of man if not the cult of personality that is not especially reassuring instead of implementing a quorum texas should combine both election types on the same year like some of the other states, and thereby increase the likelihood of higher voter participation in the Texas constitutional amendments. It is tempting to think cheap of that strategy versus a quorum. However, the objective is to increase voter participation and not to pass judgment on how that is done. Who makes up the people who are not voting? Lawyers, bankers, judges, carpenters, civil servants, criminals, sports stars, work shy people, butchers, bakers, all those people make up what is commonly called an off year. But let's be more particular. Of course the races must be considered. Above I listed professions. Fill in the blank if you are wondering what such and such race was doing in those off years. And of course the genders are next. Fill in the blank if you are wondering what such and such gender was doing during those off years. Now to be liberal, if you are a Texan and have a profession, a race, and a gender, it is no wonder you were busy. Still, that is no reason to have an off year. I don't think the stats above can be construed as anything other than a defective implementation of democratic principles. However, there is such a simple, elegant solution and protection for Texas liberty and freedom. That is a prudent quorum requirement for Texas constitutional amendment elections. Amicus Texas said Magis Amica Veritas.